Welcome back to the Eversys Academy. And in this video, we're gonna to touch on a really complicated subject, how to make your espresso taste better. It's really important to what we do. So the machine is designed to produce really consistent results, but we still need to find that perfect recipe. We wanna start with our great coffee. We wanna make sure that it's fresh and that everything is working well with the machine. And this becomes a lot easier if you know what your blend should taste like. So if you're working with the coffee every day, you know where, how it tastes when it's at its sweetest, that's the recipe you're aiming for. But if you're starting like me with a new coffee, you're gonna to have to go based on taste. And you're gonna start off with a standard set of parameters. I've already programmed the machine to give me a standard double espresso with a pretty typical extraction time. I'm gonna start by brewing that espresso. I'm gonna taste it. And then we're gonna look at the different factors we can control. So whilst this brews, I'm just gonna drop the cup under. I'm gonna use the double espresso button. It's using ETC and it's using the right hand grinder. And we can see on the display little elements of that. So we can see the clock, we can see the hopper highlighted all within the product button, but we can also see other things that impact extraction. So we can see that our coffee boiler temperature is at 96 degrees and that's gonna impact the extraction. Higher temperatures are gonna draw more flavors from a coffee. You may want that with a light roast. You may want lots and lots of energy or with a darker roast, you may prefer a slightly smaller extraction, in which case you might wanna drop that temperature down. So we can look at that as well. Now we've made some other videos. So there's a video on the ETC system and there's another video on espresso calibration. And both of those are really useful once you know the recipe you're aiming for. All right, on the screen, we can also see how long this espresso took to brew. This one took 16.6 .6 seconds. So it's a little off of the recipe we were aiming for, but that's kind of useful. I'm gonna give the espresso a little bit of a swirl or a stir. I'm gonna smell it and I'm gonna taste it. And I'm gonna think really hard, not about my flavor preferences, but how the acidity, sweetness, bitterness, and texture work together. Does it make a great espresso? Because we can affect all of those things. So when I taste this, my first thought is maybe it's a little bit thin, but also that balance of flavors seems a little short. There's a little too much acidity and a little less sweetness than I'd hope from a traditional espresso blend. So I'm gonna look at both parts of the recipe. I'm gonna look at how much flavor I'm drawing from the coffee, and I'm gonna look at that textural aspect. So if I'm gonna look at just the extraction, the easiest way to do that is change this extraction time. We're at 16.6 .6 seconds. I could calibrate the machine by using the ETC system, so I could change the extraction time there and let the machine calibrate it. But really, I wanna see if I make the grind finer, will the coffee taste better? So I'm gonna go into beans and grinder, but instead of going into ETC, I'm gonna use this little grinder symbol on the right-hand side, and it's gonna bring up all of my grinder settings. You can see the left-hand grinder is highlighted in green and the numbers for that are highlighted in green. And on the right-hand side, I've got my blue grinder and the numbers are in blue. Now, if I want to grind finer and try an extraction there, you can just use this finer button I'm gonna make two adjustments, and I'm gonna wait for the grinder to make the adjustments and do a little purge. I might make one more adjustment, really see what the difference will be. You can hear it grinding and making that adjustment. And then rather than going straight back out and going to the product page, I'm gonna come back out. I'm gonna to go to products and keys. And I'm gonna go back to my double espresso button where I can see the full recipe. So here we can see the water quantity and the cake thickness. So again, if you were using a traditional machine, you think of those as your yield for your water quantity and your dose for your cake thickness. So those elements there will really impact the texture, but we want the extraction time and temperature to be correct first. I'm just gonna wait for the machine to finish rinsing through that change that we made. I'm gonna put my cup in place and I'm gonna use the product test butter. So the grind adjustment has been made. We'll see if this changes the flavor and whether I get a little more sweetness to balance that coffee, and then we'll look at the texture separately. We can see the brewing time as it happens. It's just sitting here. And the extraction time looks good. So that stopped at 26 seconds. 
Now my normal starting recipe for a lot of these coffees will be 23 seconds and the ETC will give that plus or minus three seconds either way, which gives us a window for that success. It's actually finished at 25.3. I'm gonna give it another stir. You smell. Okay, now with this coffee, it feels more rounded. It feels like the texture is better and the flavor balance is better as well. There's a little more sweetness there. Maybe we could get more out of it. And in fact, what I'm gonna do to balance that texture and really condense those flavors a little bit without losing that extraction time is I'm just gonna drop down my water quantity a little bit. Again, we can use the learn quantity button and you can understand that better by looking at the calibration video. But I'm just gonna drop this down three ticks. Get a slightly shorter, more condensed shot. It's gonna have more intense flavors and be somewhere in between the balance of sweetness of the last two shots. Again, I don't need to go out of the screen. I can drop my cup in place and do product test again. We haven't adjusted the grind, so there's less to do here with the machine. It's just gonna push less water through. I'm gonna expect the extraction time to be just a touch shorter. And because I'm adjusting this on my main double espresso button, that means the ETC system is gonna follow it. So if I set my extraction parameters on the ETC to match the time that I enjoy from that grinder adjustment, the machine will then maintain it for us. One thing to remember is if you're making changes to your espresso, you'll also need to make some of those changes on the other drinks that are connected to it. And you'll be able to see when you come out of the menu, any drinks that don't have a clock icon won't be being controlled by the same ETC and recipe. So again, I give it a little bit of a stir, a smell, And excellent. This is a much more intense version of the espresso, but the extraction is remaining at a similar time. We're getting similar flavors, just the texture is a little bit improved. Now, if we found that by pushing the extraction time further along, we were beginning to get negative flavors, we weren't really improving the coffee, but we still wanted to draw more out of it. We could also adjust it with the brewing temperature. So to do that, we would come out of the brewing recipe and we would look at the machine parameters. And right at the top of that display, we've got a coffee boiler temperature at 95 degrees. And particularly if we were working with a darker roast, we might just want to drop that. So we'd be still getting the benefit of longer extractions, but we wouldn't be pulling flavors that we didn't want. And you can make adjustments here that will affect all of the coffee and all of the different recipes that we have. And it's just a different way of creating different extractions. So I hope that's helpful. Try to think of texture as tied to your ratio, your water quantity, and your cake thickness, your dulcet yield. Try and think of flavor differences as tied to your extraction time or brewing temperature parameters. That should really help you find that sweet espresso. Thank you.